And this is Petit Petit here? Yes, that's uh, our new version running on Android on a Samsung Galaxy Tab. Um, today it's 7 inch, maybe in two hours it's going to be 10 inch, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, it sounds like it. <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, what we do is we replace the home screen uh, and make it more intelligent in that you can work with all sorts of uh, data, namely your people, your things, your places and your time, right? So what you can do is you can open all sorts of people that you have here, like I have now 700 people here, um, like my artists, uh, companies, um, my contacts and so on, which were imported by Facebook, uh, Google contacts and so on. And I can ask questions like, who is working here at XP? So what I do is I move up XP and then I just reduce it to those seven people uh, who I have uh, in my contacts here and I can simply um, call this guy for example uh, very easily uh, using the standard Android stuff. right? So that's a very easy way to work with your data um, in this dimension which is people for example um, but I could also ask like what are the related places that I have with this guy? Uh -huh, none. Um, but I still have all sorts of um, places that I have, like places in the world, but also uh, websites. Let's say this one, what is it? Um, yeah, that's Facebook, very easy. Uh, we have our own browser running uh, with a co-pilot and uh, the, the possibility to also store your website uh, so that you, if you go back, um, can keep it here uh, together with the content that you have. So that's uh, quite easy. And then we have, what's going on here? Um, we have uh, our timeline, which is a universal timeline for your pictures, for um, whatever you have. Uh, like uh, your email and stuff so what you can do is um, you can drag out one of your contacts move them to the timeline and then it's a bit slow because it's uh, beta so still yeah, yeah. Um, so you get all all of the uh, information from Johnny for example here on, on the timeline uh, which is uh, very simple so when we look at Ashley, uh, then we can also do a filtering uh, by saying, okay, I have my emails from Johnny here, but I can also drag Ashley up here and reduce all of my emails to the cut set of these people here, which is just one single email, right? So that's very easy to work on the bunch of emails that you have uh, just using your finger. Like like photos and stuff, like like searching for like family photos in the timeline. If you're looking for like your wife in Munich last summer, yeah, is, is, it, is it entirely possible so to do that? It, you can do it. I don't know whether uh, it's gonna crash because we had some some case here, but. Uh, you can, for example, search in okay. all of these dimensions and then you get, uh, let's say, Ascona uh, out here and then you say, uh, show me all of the things that I have related to Ascona. Uh, sorry. What's going on? Show me all the related things in Ascona. And I I get all of my pictures that I have in my things. So these are GPS tagged pictures and our system is looking up the GPS tags and is automatically associating the, the pictures places with the places in your database. So that's very easy to retrieve uh, your, your picture, for example, by place. You can also do it by time. And if we had a face recognition plugin, then it would be uh, easy to uh, retrieve them by people. Amazing. So, what are your timelines for launch? This is beta now, and what, what are your... Yeah, so we're starting beta now uh, on Android. Everybody can download it and tell us what they think. Um, we need um, much feedback on this, especially on different devices. We have an SDK so that you can uh, write your own software on it, feed data on it, um, consume data from us, and so on. Um, and basically, we plan 
to have the final product in October.